right, fightite.com here with my man, Phil LaGreco. Just got a chance to see what, what was that, like a three hour workout or something like that? Something ridiculous? Hey, man. When you want something that bad, there's no excuses. Yeah. And I, I, I never, anybody that knows me, anybody that's been, I've been around, knows that I've always cut corners in my training. I train hard, but I'd rather, you know, instead of doing, I don't know, the coaches say, do eight rounds on the back, I'll do five or six. Now we're doing eight or nine or whatever, you know, it's three hour workout. We, I, we don't go by the clock or the rounds. We just work. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he was telling me, he goes, be prepared, because if you're not going to work, I, I'm not, I don't want you to come. Yeah. So I got mentally ready for this. And, and here's what I'm going to tell you exclusively. Mm -hmm. no, some people know, because I post pictures, some people don't. For me, to avoid a cigar <laughs> and a beer during training camp wow. says a lot. Wow. I don't care about uh, the fun life, training, uh, after the gym. Because remember, all these fighters are looking good in the gym, but it's what you do after the gym. And what, what haunted me was what I would do after the gym because, you know, I wasn't happy what was going on. I always had fucking shoemakers trying to run my career until I took over my career, and this look where we're at now. So, and that says a lot, you know. I mean, up until any fight you could think of, I would have even a beer or wine up until the day before. Damn. <laughs> and I would, once in a while, I would smoke a cigar in training camp. Uh, it doesn't really harm the body, but you shouldn't do it, regardless. They say, yeah, but Michael Jordan used to smoke one before the game every time. That's a team sport. Right, true. Right? True. That's, that, that, that's, that's a team sport, so this is not a team sport. Yeah. You can't call timeout. What, what, like, why is it different now? Like, like what is it different about this fight? Because I know fight? what I'm fighting for this time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, look, I had to take I call it the villain role. I tried. I am a nice guy. People think I'm just an asshole. No, I had to play the asshole role to get this way. Mm. I was trying to be the nice guy. You know what it made me? Zero dollars. Mm. I beat the asshole. I'm doing okay. Yeah. You know the secret of failure? You mm. know what it is? What's that? I'm trying to please everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's impossible. The secret to success? Don't give two flying fucks what a guy called Joe underscore 46 has to say on the fucking YouTube comments. Come on. <laughs> well, this is, a, this is like one of the few times where you've actually had like this amount of time to, to prepare ready. for a fight. Is and that, like I said, go ahead. I'm thankful for that. I mean, a lot of fighters, I'm very grateful for, the, for this opportunity. Let's call a spade a spade. The guy gave me three months to get ready. It's a great uh, situation for me. It tells me if I should continue. I mean, if I can't beat a guy that's been out for two years, who's been knocked out and a train wreck, and I know he's not mentally right, then I'm smart enough. Hey, Phil, you're a young entrepreneur. You do other things in life. Mm -hmm. I opened up many other doors, but I'm giving him my all because I know I can win. And I'm going in his backyard. Yeah. I mean, I must be. people must think, like, this guy is crazy. No, it's not crazy. It's confidence. What do you mean, show up being unconfident? Right. <laughs> I apologize because I'm confident. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next time I'll fucking think like a loser and I'll walk with my head down. <laughs> Fuck out of here. But no, just speaking just speaking to that, I mean, like I said, this is the first time you've had this amount of time to train. Can, can you kind of like, I don't know if you can put into words or if you can just kind of describe what other camps have been like because I, I don't think I don't think fans really understand they don't know what it's like for a fighter you know someone who's not you know pampered someone who I mean because there's a lot of fighters out there that still have full-time nine nine to five jobs yeah, well I gotta thank my mom and daddy they gave me a lot of money I mean as you can see I hope I have my own production team <laughs> thank you mom and dad um, <laughs> but seriously you know what is there's a lot of fighters out there, like I said before, and I'll say it again, they scratch their nuts suck, mm. expecting that call. I hustled. No one, no one introduced me to nobody. I just worked my way up, and I believe in goals. You know, I write down my goals every day. I start my day always uh, writing. People don't know about that. And I achieve things, one things at a time. Mm. 
I planned this. I writ I written this down that this was gonna happen. Mm. We can go back on my journals two months ago, and I said I'm gonna fight Amir Khan. Mm. I'm not Shakespeare, but I believe in planning and goal setting. Does that make it easier to be motivated in this camp when, when you know, like, this is a guy that you wanted to fight? I know what I'm fighting for this time. Mm. I didn't know what I was fighting for back then. You know, I'm 33. Luckily, I haven't been in any wars. I've had, I've been a pro since 2006, but I've had six, seven fucking years of inactivity. Right. So am I fresh 33 or am I an old 33? I'll find mm. out myself April 21st. Mm. What do you think that Amir is going to be doing to prepare for you? I mean, obviously, you, you, you can't really, I, I don't expect you to know his game plan or anything like that. But, but just the fact that, I mean, I know you said I mean, you I planned was, the fight, but, but he probably thinks he's the one that picked you. No, so, no, 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 I don't fucking <laughs> think so. No, actually, you're welcome, Eddie Hearn. I heard the Echo Arena is almost sold out. Can you imagine now, picture this. If they were to pick any other opponent that they had on that list, they would have been politically correct. Would the record arena be sold out almost? Be honest, let's be honest together. You and I, forget the camera. Be a, you and I. <laughs> Probably not. Nope. Nope. Okay. You're welcome, Eddie Hearn. <laughs> the record promotions. <laughs> but having said that, I mean, uh, like I said, Amir and, and his team, like, they probably are thinking, well, we picked this guy. So what is it about you that you think they saw and, and feel like they're gonna get like like do you think they saw you and think they're gonna get like this one-dimensional guy that's just gonna come forward and brawl like like how do you think he's viewing you as an opponent well based on the fact that I'm a come forward fighter uh, I think he wants to be tested he knows that I fought guys like Porter mm -hmm. I fought like guys like Spence but I really wouldn't count that I mean I fought that fight in two fucking days and I lost 16 pounds mm -hmm. and I actually won a round or two believe it or not right <laughs> so I think it, the fact that he got upset because I posted the Kim Kardashian photo, so he kind of took it personal, right? And if he did, I can't apologize for it. It's the business of boxing. Just the way I took away from him his habits, he took away my habits of not smoking cigars, not drinking beer, not drinking fine wine, just being in jail. Yeah, not doing culinary fighter. Not doing culinary, not eating like a pig. Look, uh-oh. Yeah, it's coming off. It's coming off. Not bad, huh? It's coming off. That's a big difference between just, no, just now and the press conference. Definitely. We are talking to Jenny Craig. I'm excited about this. <laughs> I am getting sponsor, uh, weight loss sponsorships. Uh, we're definitely, you know, because I got to keep up with the budget. You know, this, 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 this production that I have is costing me a lot of money. I can't keep using mom and dad money, right? <laughs> well, let me ask you real quick, just because you mentioned, you know, fighters sitting on the couch, scratching their nuts, not, not hustling, not going out and get that. You mentioned somebody that you fought, Sean Porter. Over the weekend, love that guy. Yeah, he was he was Fuck up in everybody's yeah. face. Is, is listen, that is that what more fighters should do? Listen, you ever watch you ever watching uh, Rocky Balboa the movie? Yeah, of course. It ain't how hard you hit; it's mm. how hard you can get hit and keep moving fucking forward, man. True, true. true. You know the bullshit that I had to go through. You got no idea how many times I wanted to fucking quit the sport. Wow. Wow. Many times, and I've had great friends and great support systems say, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I said, okay, go back to the drawing board, go back to the drawing board. Oh, man. So, I love a guy that hustles. Sean yeah. Porter, yeah, go go ahead. Say, look, go up to fight. I said, when, are we, when the fuck are we going to fight? Mm. What, do you want to what, what do you want, to stay fucking still like this and just stay on the couch and train <laughs> and stay away from the limelight? No. <laughs> Right. Sean, keep doing what you're doing, brother. I support you. Keep hustling. Did it surprise you that he? Because Sean's not really vocal like that normally. He's, you know, I know he goes to church. He's a religious guy. I go to church, but did, you, did people expect me to go fucking UK and cause a storm? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, I mean, look. They say do not wake. In Italian, we say, don't wake up the dog that's sleeping. Mm. I've been sleeping for a long time. Mm. Mm. Long time. Mm. And I was like. When I get this fight, I know what I'm fighting for. I'm fighting for a lot of things, man. A lot of things. Amir, he's achieved a lot. He's comfortable. He's, a, he's rich. He's made a lot of money. He uh, does a lot of great things. The American Foundation. Kudos to him. I'm trying to do that. So I'm more hungry than him. I'm very hungry. So for me, that's food on the table for me. Yeah. I can't let him take away food on the table. Yeah, yeah. How serious is I mean, I know every fight is serious, but I mean... 
you seem like really, really serious about this fight. Like this is, it's, almost, it's almost like a back against the wall. I'm putting part. positive pressure on myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not negative pressure. Oh my God, if I don't put, no. The positive pressure is this, uh, I got nothing to lose, but I'm gonna be 100% prepared. Cause no matter what happens, I wanna look back and say, Phil, you know what? You train hard, you give it 110%. This is the result. Mm. And I'll be happy with the result. I'm gonna let the job speak, speak for itself, of course, so. Do you, like, do you feel like this is a do or die situation? It is, for me it is. Yeah. Because I'm smart, I'm not dumb enough to fucking not, and be delusional like this guy thinks, you know, he's been knocked out, he's been on a train rack, keeps getting knocked out. Yeah, okay, he's reinvented his career. It comes to an end. After 30 years old, he never had legs from the beginning of his career. After 30 years old, it's all about legs. I've been thankful that I got my legs still. If I wouldn't have any legs, I would have been an Xboxer a long time ago. Mm. So after 30, your legs seem to go. Ask my buddy Paulie. He'll tell you a thing or two about legs. Mm -hmm. He's always been, he's always a guy that used to use his legs all the time. After 30, he goes, he wasn't moving as much. He goes, yeah. man, my legs are shot. Mm. So mm. Now it's, it's actually funny that you mentioned legs because I feel like I know he's posting videos on, on Instagram and stuff. It feels like every video he's doing leg things. <laughs> what about nuts, nut things, balls thing? No, balls he does have, I'll give him that. Yeah. He does have balls. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you got balls. So because you have balls, and I have balls, just you and I, forget the cameras and everything. Meet me in the center of the ring. Either I get knocked out, or you get knocked out. And there's nothing to be ashamed of. This is boxing, guys. We throw punches in there. At this level, when you throw punches, one of us could get knocked out. Mm. That's the honest thing. So mm. that's what I want to do. Meaning that uh, fuck the running, boy. If you want to box, we'll box. Whatever. We'll go ten rounds. We'll box it. We'll make it boring. Fine, you know. But I prefer meet me in the middle of the ring. You say you want to be boss. You want to show me who was boss by throwing a glass of water in my face. Clearly, a girl does that at a nightclub. So if you want to show me who's boss, meet me in the center of the ring. And we just start throwing fucking punches. Mm, mm. Can we? I know I, you're not gonna give away any of your secrets. Hooks, or anything like hooks that. are gonna be flying. No, <laughs> fuck that. I thought it was gonna happen. There's no secret. Hooks are gonna be flying that night. <laughs> well, what's gonna be happening leading up to that? Like, are, can we see any more? No. Are there gonna get? Are there gonna be any more pictures or any more? Like, are you gonna be jabbing at them still a little bit? No, oh, you know what? I'm, okay, so guys, here's the deal. I told you guys I was gonna entertain you guys like you guys never been entertained before. Have you guys been entertained so far? Absolutely. Okay, now we are gonna do, cause Sky Sky Sports didn't wanna put up the money. Team Logreco, Logreco Promotion, Logreco Promotions put up the money. I got my own 24 seven vlog starting March 1st. Okay. Subscribe to the Culinary Fighter mm -hmm. and you can see what, what's going on, what I'm about. Okay, okay, that's you know what's what I mean? up. What about, I know we were talking earlier, but are, are you actually, are you seriously gonna do like a hater meet and greet? Yes, I am gonna be doing a hater meet and greet, guys, this Saturday. That's crazy. I will post, you know, cause I have been getting a lot of hate yeah. on my Instagram, on Twitter. Yeah. So I would like to personally meet you guys and uh, take the hits. I'll take the hits, no problem. But be ready to take the hits as well, because remember, for every hater, every hater usually has a girl. True. Because they're too busy fucking on the computer. They should be more fucking and less fucking trolling. <laughs> Do you know? Man, I don't want to talk. I don't want to. Just wait for it. Do you it. know how many haters I had? Listen. <laughs> their, their wives th thank me all the time. Their wow. girls thank me all the time. Wow. Back when I, when I was single. They used to thank me. Thank you, Phil. Because my boyfriend is always hating on Twitter. Boxers, you're getting the job done for me. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> it's all right. Pleasure. Hey, it's a dirty job. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it, brother. <laughs> Phil, thank you. I appreciate you letting me spend some time with you uh, in the gym and, and over the weekend and everything. Is there anything you want to let the fans know before we get out of here? Thank you, guys. Honestly, Fight Hype, your support system is awesome. If I can kindly ask you guys to support me. Of course. If you guys want to boo, you guys can be can boo too. Go on the Culinary Fighter, subscribe. March 1st, I will have my vlog, my own 24-7. And there'll be a surprise or two. <laughs> Stay tuned. Ciao. Thanks, Bill. Bye. 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 Bye.